so surprise is just about to be revealed. Boo -boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Boo. <laughs> so that's a farm shop, uh -huh. a peddler's restaurant, smuggler's bar, oh. which is probably good for us. <laughs> so we are at Jamaica Inn. drinks these days. It's a bloody nightmare as you all know. Anyway, here we are in the Jamaica Inn. And Susie said drafts, bottles and spirits. Extra spirits are available. Cheeky sword. <laughs> you can have a smuggler or one or two, you know. Neptune rum. And you want your money already, honey? Yeah. You always want your money. Mm -hmm. So you haven't got a ghost of a chance of getting away with it. Will you be to save me from the ghost tonight? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you actually going to sleep tonight? Oh, I'm too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be lying there with my camera like this. <laughs> yeah. Coming. Yeah. Then I'm going to go. There's a ghost! Help me! Greg is going to be like, fuck her off. <laughs> Who are the ghosts? Who are the ghosts? In Jamaica Inn. Who are the Jamaica Inn ghosts? The one who sits outside. One of them is actually not a very nice ghost. I'm oh, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm getting even worse now. Jamaica in Ghost. Wow, it comes in at number two. <laughs> Oops. Coming in at number two, the article refers to the numerous reports of ghostly goings on at the inn, mm -hmm. which includes previous managers of the inn hearing conversations uttered in a foreign tongue suggested to be old worldly Cornish mm -hmm. and the sounds of horses' hooves in the metal rims of the wheels on the rough cobbles even when the courtyard is empty. Rooms three, four, five and six are the most popular. Who can be behind the uneasy footsteps heard pacing the corridors in the dead of night? Who is the strange man in a tricorn hat? Well I bloody hope it's Poldark. <laughs> oh, you're not lying darling. Aidan Turner. Yeah, that could AKJ be Gore, the manager toi. Not quite the one you was after, but hey, that'll do me just fine. <laughs> Shit, we recorded. Um, Sorry, everybody. Yes, well, that's going to stay in. <laughs> the edit. Definitely. Oh, we walked through solid doors. Oh, I did. Lovely. Mm. Visit the ghost tab. They've got a tab. Anyway, so here we are. We've just been let into a room in the Jamaica Inn. Um, it's room five. We are sharing it tonight with Hannah. And her, Hannah is? The little girl who lives in this room. <laughs> right, so I'm going to show you around. So, I really like how they've set the room up. The COVID things are really doing well. I mean, they're really going to town with everything. It's all fogged. All being full, they had a, a note on the door. Yes, there's a paint in there already. Um, little bath that might be quite noisy because that's extractive for the kitchen. That's what it is. Yeah, once, it's, once the kitchen's finished, it should do. But in this wardrobe, there's a box of toys. 
Can you see them? They are Hannah's. I've been told that she might come out to play tonight. <laughs> and what else is in there? And also, there's a box full of letters that people have written to Hannah when they have stayed here. And they have cards to her, and little things that they've written to her. I took my glasses off, so right now. So this one. Dear Hannah, thank you for a wonderful stay. You made us feel very welcome in your cosy room. Love Janet and Mike. And they leave her gifts. Um, to Hannah, thank you for your lovely company. We didn't get much sleep as you enjoyed pulling Rachel's hair in the night. You banged about with the room and threw our bottle tops, but still it was a treat to share your room. We leave you a hairband as you like to Rachel so much. All our love and fine peace, Rachel and Sammy. This was 2017. And so, so they go on. There is a whole box full there. Cards which I'm going to sit and read in a bit, if you don't mind, Hannah. I know they're to you. But what a lovely way to be welcomed to a room. Help! And it caught my eye because at the bottom it says, Don't fall asleep. Dear Hannah, I'm not sure what we did to offend you, so, but nothing could warrant your treatment of us. The flickering lights, your footsteps on the creaking floorboards, and your ashen face in the mirror will continue to haunt me long after I have left room five. Instead of leaving you a present, as many have before us, we will leave you, the future visitors, with a piece of advice. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Hannah, thank you for letting us sleep peacefully in your room. We have bought you some marbles and a whistle to blow. Well, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not lucky enough to feel your presence or meet you. Better luck next time. Andrew and Peter. Mm -hmm.